Hello, hello, hello. It's good to see everybody. You can't see the poll? That's bullshit. Oh, Patty's in here again. Patty, uh, since you made the newest boon emoji, which is added to the YouTube emojis for the members, um, do you think you could make uh, a couple more like that, Fallout style? I'd even be willing to throw you a couple of bucks for doing so. I'd add them to the Discord and the and the YouTube members thing. They're just so fucking funny to me. That Boon one is so good. Anyway, it's good to see you guys. Let's see what we were doing here. Okay. So we could, in theory, start the free side quests. It's great to see your words, Dick Van Dyke. Thanks, mister. Oh, he's gonna run away instead? What the fuck? You're robbing me of my line. Thanks, mister. Alright. <laughs> Hey, just in time. Good to see you again. What characters? It, it doesn't really matter. Just, you know, like, uh, just Fallout-related characters. <laughs> Dealer's choice. Um, just take those those goofy YouTube ones that are fucking hilarious, just, like, in the style of those. Doesn't matter to me. Like, uh, the more reminiscent of Fallout, the better, obviously. So, you know, like, Advanced Power Armor, like Enclave Power Armor, um, uh, Vault Boy uh, styles, this shit that, you know, Wrangler. evokes a Fallout feel, but, uh, we gotta make that happen. You did a fucking great job on that Boon one. <laughs> so good. We're gonna get banned from this casino here. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. And then, uh, continue our quest. Uh, hey, I guess I'll stay then. Uh, yeah, Gabriel, I played, uh, Fallout the Frontier back when it, like, launched. But, um, I have not played any new versions that they've put out. I've heard it's, uh, they improved it greatly. Eduardo! Thank you very much, um... For the five dollars, any chance of a Phoenix Jones video? <laughs> Remember the Alamo? Uh, I made one way back in the day. I don't know if I still. I might still have a copy of it. I might still have a copy of it, but it might be lost forever because I. I guess I deleted it from my channel because I can't find it on my channel anymore. I thought it was just unlisted. Um, no, <laughs> but I'm happy to talk about it on stream and stuff. It just doesn't really. Uh, it's not cohesive with the rest of my channel, so, um, I don't see me, like, really releasing, like, a full video on it anymore. Plus, I, I haven't talked to the guy or had really any interaction with him since, like, 2011. So, the, the dude I knew and the dude that he is is totally different, guys. I pretty much just double down the most, uh, because we have luck 10 now, um, even on something like that, like, ooh, still managed to beat me though, doesn't care about my luck 10. Our earnings are not very high right now, good god. Yeah, um, I have, Rusty still has the OG Frontier, I have like 20 or 30 hours of footage that I recorded of the OG version, uh, cause I was making a video about it. And, uh... Ooh wee. Damn, dude! Why is the Atomic Wrangler going so fucking hard on me? Stuart Little, that's how you found the channel, oh my goodness. But Eduardo, thank you for the super chat. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see myself making another video about it. 
Um, but again, uh, yeah, I used to run around with Phoenix Jones. That was like his glorified sidekick. He was Seattle's superhero. And uh, we made it our business to like break up fucking drunk bar fights and get cabs for people who were too drunk to get home, like stumbling down the street. And uh, then he got busted selling drugs to an undercover cop a few, uh, a couple of years ago. And that's funny because like I used to like get like worried about uh, him coming over to my apartment and like smelling the weed that I smoked. Like not that he didn't know that I smoked weed, but like it would seem like he didn't like being around even weed. You know, so it's, it's weird that that's uh, how that shit went down. So yeah, we're just uh, getting banned at the Atomic Wrangler real quick. But they're not making it easy for us, even with our luck 10. We should have been in and out. And then we're going to do the free side quest. I should not have <laughs> hit there. That was ridiculous. Wasn't paying attention. I forget what their earnings limit is. I know it's drastically lower than the strips. Hey, Jedi Matthew, welcome back to the stream. Glad you could be here. I'm gonna go ahead and stay. I'm gonna go ahead and stay. <laughs> See, now they're not letting me double down. <laughs> Ooh. And punishing me when I do. Damn, son. Almost to 5k. Of course you're gonna give me a fucking hand like that. Um, uh, we did it, boys. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Yes. Did we do that at... Vicky and Vance. Hello there. I don't see it listed in my misc item. Usually, I think they show it like shows up as like poker chip, not poker chip. Uh, like shows up in inventory. Yeah, Jared. I don't remember if I cashed out at Vicky and Vance or not. But don't they show up in the misc? area of your fucking inventory? Hey, HPZ, good to see you. You want someone dead? Really dead? Too early, Night Spirit. It's only a couple hours earlier than I streamed yesterday. Hey. It's weird. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? But you know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the What weapon am I gunning stage. to use this run? I use a variety of... Um, I have that gun, which is one of my favorites to use. Um, I like, well, I probably won't be using the surface rifle since I have, uh, that gun, but like the hunting rifle, like the cowboy repeater, I was using the plasma rifle not too long ago. That was pretty good. 
Tostadora, I am doing fantastic. I Hello, hope you Craxie. are doing well. Someone news come to see us. Yeah, the Wolf Den, I'm glad you're here as well. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor. Hey, HPC with a twenty dollar super chat. Good golly. Sound good. You love having the Fallout Fact videos playing in the background while you play. Oh, nice, man. Uh, well, awesome. Thank you for checking them out and for the kind words. I'm glad that you enjoy them. I've had a lot of people tell me how much they like them. I'm currently working on another long New Vegas Fact video. I'm hoping to make it a couple hours long, like the last one. Um, and then, of course, I'll be doing it with the other Fallout games as well. Kind of making sequels to the ones that I made before. Uh, but thank you for checking it out, and thank you so much for the generous super chat. I, pr I appreciate that big time. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered? Oh, Nico, you're almost uh, done uh, getting a... I, uh, wow, okay, I tripped over my words there. Had two thoughts cross at once. You're very close. Yeah, those are the ones I had left too, um, Nico. The caravan achievements and the, the star challenges. It's good uh, if you can stay alive long enough. Those are the ones I... I yeah. as it used to be. So Saved for last, well, anyway. Uh, they're definitely the, well, the harder ones. Recently, my man but, um, told me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, you can do this, man. Too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires, I always him, make sure to. Well, except seventy six. I, uh, I always make sure to specifically <laughs> get all the achievements in the follow games. Play the hey, Captain Deadpool! Tourist. Thank you very much. Uh, Merry Christmas if and happens, uh, so good New Year! Back at you. So and Ang Ang Pure using the best emoji, uh, Patty made them uh, made a boon version for the YouTube members. Obviously, we can't like you can't just integrate it. I wish that like just because you're on the channel, you could use the custom emojis, but you have to be a member to do so. Uh, but it's fantastic. So anybody who's a member should definitely show off the new boon emoji in the chat. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing you. Uh, I don't know if they're a cult. Oh, well, okay, Bobby. You know, you might be onto cult. something. I see a little cultish because of, like, the obsession with Elvis, but I don't really look at it as a cult. More so as, like, they just idolize Elvis and, you know, think that he's the coolest motherfucker hey. around. and Or was the coolest motherfucker around. And, and so they just kind of try to model their style and and, like, demeanor after him. But I, like, I guess that... The reason I'm like, oh, maybe you're kind of right is because I guess that would kind of fall in line with, like, a culty thing. But, like, I don't feel like... I don't get that, like, same kind of vibe, you know? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. <laughs> the leader no, does claim that the building is okay. Go. All right, Bobby. I mean, like I'm saying, you're not... You're not wrong. You need to cross Freeside. No one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Oh, nice. You guys did show off the boon emoji. Dude, I love it. It's so good. Done and done. I want to yeah, Patty a few is up front. fucking top tier. To yeah, ERO. I'm so glad you're here to see it. Fuck. To the letter. We'll be yeah, Patty made that. It's fucking down. top tier. No detours. So you go off sightseeing, <laughs> and I go off to find another customer. <laughs> so good. I'll keep a brisk pace. Try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Okay, so we have hired Oris. We're gonna follow him and uh, try to expose his to fucking left, scheme here. Get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. Come to Mick and Ralph for you all your shopping one, needs. Do you really have the king look more like the honky tonk man? <laughs> um, I met the honky tonk man not too long ago. I hung out with him for like three or four hours uh, <laughs> at, at Spokane Comic Con. Uh, he was fucking cool, too. Uh, <laughs> he is not afraid to shoot from the hip, man. Because I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'd just be, I'd start up a random conversation with him. He's, he's fucking like I am. Like, it, hey, something would down. trigger like <laughs> just, like, a 30-minute <laughs> just brutal rant about 
somebody or something that he's had to deal with in the past. He's fucking hilarious. Uh, but I almost would prefer the king to look more like the Honky Tonk Man because, like, it it shows, like, that these that these guys this the, these group uh, these group of guys are like you know attempting to be Elvis not because like the king looks fucking straight like Elvis from the like the you're looking for trouble boom boom like it looks exactly like that fucking Elvis like uh which is fine but um if you looked more like the honky tonk man it might be um notice that did you. Like it's like more believable to me, you know what I mean? Like a, the, the, somebody's dressing like them, them as opposed to just looking exactly like them. Oh, I, and uh, Illuminati, no, I'm no god. <laughs> I am just a dumb human man. And I prove it daily. Merely pretending. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Oh yeah, you have to answer the poll to see the results, yes. And might I say, you should definitely uh, vote in the poll. I love tasting, taking suggestions from you guys when it comes to the streams. Last time the chat voted on what uh, faction we were siding with in CR1, and uh, voting on the DLC that will start, uh, it'll probably happen in the next... Walks us to the gate, by the way, and we just follow him back. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is totally vanilla, uh, Mr. Mike. I mean, there, there's like... What's I have up? the script extender in, uh, installed for the most part. Uh, that's about it. What do you have for me? But uh, anyway. So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. Anyway, I was trying You've to... You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. I could totally a lot of spaced on what I was... Parts who've been here a while resent the sheer talking number of about. people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR... What does the script extender do? It allows you to uh, put in more complex mods. One of those so it's like my Recently, game's mod ready. And I and use I mods to showcase them in their own streams. Words come that they just yeah. But um, the reason I don't just have them installed is because when I make my fact videos, I like to have a clean game so that mods don't interfere with any... Like, I don't mistake a mod for uh, something, you know, that... I, I might think it's rare, and in reality, a mod added it, and that's why it's rare, because it's not usually in the game or something. Uh, also, when I show off the game in those videos, I want it to be the game and not the mods that I'm showing off. Because um, before, um, back when I started making them, uh, I had texture mods on, and I felt I even felt like that was disingenuous, because, like, uh, the game... I wanted the game to look like it did, you know what I mean? Uh... And so, uh, long story short, it's a pain in the ass to turn them on and back off again, like, over and over again when it comes to, uh, streaming and doing the video, so I just leave them off. Okay, um, while we're Hello. here, by the way... The fuck? Oh. We can, uh, talk to Julie. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them and I'm the pretty sure we should do courtyard. Arcade's quest to get the enclave in this playthrough as well. Rates of in Let's see, uh, you get yourself a deal. So we'll do the high times quest. And my medics. And some right away. I'm not giving you my fixer. I may need that. <laughs> oh, okay. And we need to talk to them. Once I get the lucky it? 38 going. Can't you see I want to be left alone with And I can kinda just put companions in there. That's when I'm gonna start doing other people's companion quests and stuff. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. No, Julie looks like an old school uh, followers of the apocalypse from like uh, the first Fallout Frenchman. 
Uh, so when I first saw her, I was like, oh, that's... She reminds me of, uh... Fuck, I forget her name. I almost want to say her, her name's Julie as well in the first one. Uh, I fucking forget it, though. Laura? Laura in Fallout, in the, in the first Fallout. She reminded me of that when I first saw it. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as... Yeah, all the DLC in Fallout 3 are worth playing, Mike. Started yelling uh, Fallout 3 has some of the best DLC. All hell broke loose. New we Vegas. Got the worst of it, sad to say. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, that's the first time I've seen that happen. Uh, Far... Uh, how do you say your name? Now that I'm trying to read it out loud. Far Gassier? Thank you for... What is that, a raid then? Damn, man, you brought a lot of people. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um... So, welcome Far... Far uh, Gasser and all of uh, his uh, audience. Thank you for coming in. We're playing through New Vegas. It's, uh, it's an NCR run. They were big guys. Young, too. No old geek. It's a raid! Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I oh, was most well, Mr. Mike, welcome to the stream, man. For my life when it happened, Thank so you guys for I coming in. A quick look at I appreciate you. I hope you find the YouTube is... I have ads if that you uh, YouTube decides when to put them into the stream, and, and there's one coming in 20 it. seconds, so I just want to warn you guys that uh, I'm not just adding an ad because uh, I... That joke? <laughs> the king really send you? Is it a fart joke? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't catch on at first. Well, a little bit, but I didn't... I yeah, Anyway. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a little cost, uh, customization option. Well, I'm going to have to fucking check that out, man. That's, uh... I don't really That's pretty know dope. I, I didn't know that YouTube had that feature. Guys better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Uh, Fabio, I have been having fun in the Mojave. I always do. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant. Oh, I didn't spend 10K on my computer. Boy, means well. I, the rig I itself was like, sometimes. me, like, I think like six. I mean, that's pretty close to 10K, but. This fucking beast runs every game. I've ever put in front of it <laughs> to the fullest ultra settings fucking every setting maxed out they look great look at how good New Vegas looks on this 10k gaming computer hey well thank you uh, f I'm gonna call you Farg thank you have you found anything out? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They oh, Declan, there's nothing to apologize for. You're fine, brother. On the other side of the I'm just happy you guys are here. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. New Vegas looks fine. This is totally vanilla, too. Yeah, New Vegas looks fine for its age. Vegas, but now, now admittedly, I'm running at 4K, I'm sure and then it's being downscaled to 1080p for you. Particularly in the squad but not, areas where the I don't know, I do it in a weird way. I down, like, I make my canvas 1080p. And then just fit the image to the canvas. I find that to be the better option. It's probably not the better option, actually. Because there's a there's a downscaling option that I should probably use. But uh anyway. I think the game looks fucking great. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Anders, dude, it's good to see you. Oh, now Nico's playing New Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> anything other than late to a meal, nice. Um, okay, so... I'm the wrong way. How's it going? Oh yeah, we should do that quest. High times.
We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. People. Oh my oh, word. Well, there's one in this map still, so we might as well just go this way. Yeah, Fabio, thank you for stopping by. My favorite DLC currently is Old World Blues, Mr. Mike. But um, they're all pretty fantastic, in my opinion. Yeah, Honest Arts, uh, is, you know, and Honest Arts being the first one to do, that's like, uh, I think that's a good DLC to start with, honestly, out you of all chems, the DLCs. Buddy? I could really use a fix. Um, yes. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong, as long as I get my chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries, my guy will be here soon enough, just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. Reference to High Times point, Magazine? Yeah, probably. So I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, ERO, probably. do you have any spare caps? Okay, so we'll go deal with Dixon. <laughs> nah, I... I ain't gonna shoot him. I don't think anyway. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me. Hey, Declan with a five. What is that? Pound? Five pound? Can you go punch Gob or make fun of his face? Uh, yeah, because you super chatted. Yep. We'll, we will uh, do that. Well, uh, we'll start that quest. And and it's not Gob. It's uh, Rodface, so isn't it? Not Rodface, but uh, the fuck is his name? Gob's in Fallout 3. But I know who what? you're talking about. Grex. I need a fix now. Fine. Yeah, from Vault really 22, so Daring Dude. Some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers. Uh, Fallout Mass. No, I have. Uh, I have not done a murder hobo run. But we'll start that uh, Atomic Wrangler quest and punch Gob. Gob. See, now I'm doing it punch Grex in the face for you uh, very soon. Thank you for the five pounds. I appreciate you. Yeah, Magic the Gathering is getting a new Fallout expansion, which in my opinion makes Tragic the garn garn Garnering, uh, which is uh, f the equivalent inside the Fallout universe, uh, real, in my opinion. It's pretty wild that they uh, are doing a cross now. But, um... Yeah, man, it, it, the designs that I've seen, like the previews of the cards that I've seen, I'm not into magic myself, but I I definitely like what they're doing with it. I don't know if they're out yet. If you're saying that, like on the feed, on your feed, you just saw that they on, were man, released, that's dope. Because I'm probably gonna end up getting some just to collect them. Okay, so we did it, boys. Oh, you know what? We're like at the Atomic Wrangler. Let's get that quest that Declan suggested here. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Uh, this one, please. I am. Okay, Santiago. And I need to talk to James, so let's... Isn't that his name? Yes. Welcome to the Atomic... We'll do that. Get his... Fisto quest going.
All right. Yeah, some of the character models in uh, these past Creation Engine games are a little rough. That's for sure. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping. This is pre-order now. Nice, nice. I'm guessing that's the magic cards you're referring to. Yeah, I'm down. Probably get some just to have them. I've never really, I've never played it at all. Um, but I do like the art on the cards for sure. Like, hey, top tier to see shit. You. So tell her that the Garrett twins can do it. And she's like, I don't want to. And you're like, well, it can help though. And then she's like, oh, I guess you're right. To hard repair up to you know what? Fuck it. We'll get repair up to seventy-five as well. Speech. I forget how much jury rigging is. Am I even seeing it in the list? There it is. Level fourteen and repair ninety. Hot damn. Okay, I do like toughness. I just saw that I do. What's Hunter? Okay, that's a good one. Actually, Hunter's a good one. Um, finesse is good. Ooh, we, uh, toughness is good. I'm gonna go with toughness. Final answer. Yeah, I love hearing the level ups too. You have problems with the deal. I don't know if I can help you, Enoch, but I'm happy to. I'm maybe someone in the chat can. Uh, you're you're welcome to share what's going down, but uh, I'm not the best at the technical side of things. Got my first recon beret on. We have some shit we can sell. I don't know if anybody here is a merchant like that. Like I know Julie does aid. Well, I guess you can sell her whatever you want, huh? And like I said, once we actually get onto the strip, we'll start recruiting the rest of the companions. I want to do Arcade's back, quest, which I'll probably actually have to look up, like, where to trigger his, uh, his fucking quest moments. Because those can be a little tricky. Um, yes. Just a thousand caps. That is not bad. Um... Keeping the plasma rifle. Mm, you know what? I'm selling it. See ya. Sir, I can fuck off too. Because we have that gun. Um, I'm gonna. Mm, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. See ya. See ya. I'm gonna keep the sheriff's hat. I'm gonna read that big book of science. Now we're doing good on misc items. Let's see if we can trade her for. Now I owe her 900 cups. Fine. How many stims do we have now? 48 stems. Make your compa uh, companions better and strength. Yeah, it, it, I'm What's pretty that? sure you level them up by doing their shit. Howdy. Aside from so we'll recruit her, Beatrice here for the Garrets. And we'll pick her brain a little bit about Freeside, even though I'm skipping through the dialogue here. I won't skip through the dialogue next time. I've been enjoying listening to it again. 
What kind of new Vegas stream do we have today? Uh, it's always just a normal chill stream with me, unless otherwise mentioned in the title. Um, yesterday, chat voted for an NCR run, so we're doing an NCR run. That's about the only required thing we have going on in the stream. And welcome to the stream, King uh, Kuro. Thank you for joining us. Carissa, thank you for stopping by. You were here for yesterday's stream all day. Hey, getting you through the laundry mountain. Well, uh, thank you for leaving me on in the background. I appreciate it. Uh, everybody's a super chat if they want to be Illuminati. And you're no different. Yeah, Honest Hearts is winning for first DLC. Like I said, that'll probably start in the next uh, episode of the playthrough. Hold up. What's the password? Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. All right, Kieran. Yes? Was there... Let me get an extra helping. Yes? Was there... Oh yeah, I said I wasn't going to skip through the dialogue. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. Yeah, this is going to be a full gameplay series. Um, yesterday we did five Say hours. I, I plan on doing at least four today, and uh, we've been going for about 40 minutes so there should be a good solid three hours left to the stream for sure at the very least um yeah but i'm gonna play yeah damn it sam part two uh i'm gonna i'm gonna play through the whole game through this series like i said i'll probably stream other games uh, on different days as well you know to kind of break up the monotony of it but uh uh we're definitely gonna finish this playthrough and keep it I, i'm i'm doing this new thing where i'm leaving all the gameplay streams that work out well, you never know with some streams if uh, something like glitches out or something's all fucked up with your streaming software. But barring any nonsense, leaving the stream up uh, as public, because before I had them all unlisted, but then now YouTube's changed the way that they've done it, because before you could just go to the playlist and check out all the unlisted streams, they were all just there and good to go. Now, for some reason, that they're not there anymore. So, um... I'm keeping them public. Plus, uh, YouTube has a new way of categorizing them, so you can like go to the live section of my channel and see all the live streams that I've done. And this will be in its own playlist for the for the playthrough. I'm not quite sure what other games I'll be doing, but uh, we'll definitely have some fun with it. Oh, Stone Lore, Matthew LeBlanc, thank you very much for plugging Stone Lore. Yeah, there'll be some new episodes of that. Half-Life got voted as, like, quote, the next episode, but, like, it's not going to be the next episode. Uh, it's incredibly complicated, obviously, and uh, it's going to take a while to make that episode. So I'm going to do... Oh, shit. I'm going to do a... Uh... Oh, I didn't Mick and Ralph it. I'm going to do probably, like, Mini Ninjas or something like that before that. Uh, also, Metro's on the list of games I'd like to get done, so there's gonna be some games before Half-Life, but it, you know, it is on the list. Uh, no, there's no, uh, it's pretty, oh, here we Lucky go. Lucky what we have here, ladies. Mod Another Uh, no, we're, mark. this is vanilla besides, I have the oh. script extender installed, but past that, there's really no mods. New Vegas tick fix, that's about it. What's she doing? I have played the Dust Mod. Um, I did a full stream of it and I made a video about it. I really like the Dust Mod. It's one of the darkest, most true to Fallout mods I've ever played in my entire life. Uh, really like what they did with it. Top tier. So we need to run over to Mick and Ralph's to get a, uh, get the holotape for Fisto. Yeah, King Crow. I couldn't imagine, uh, doing Stone Delore on the Frontier. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, right on, Mr. Mike. Uh, yeah. I just talked about how much I thought of, you know, how cool I thought it was and showed off the various bits of it I, that I liked. You know, of a, a, a video. You could say I made a video on it. <laughs> Explaining to you what a fucking video is. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yay, Mantis, I'll check out that video you made about it. Yeah, cool, it's just, uh, me talking about it while showing various images of, of it while I do so. <laughs> it's super brutal, Kevin. Not a bit brutal. Jesus Christ, it's super brutal. I don't- I, like, I'll probably never install it again because of how fucking hard it is, but like... We've got it all at the Silver Rush. It's definitely cool the first time through, you know what I mean? To like, see, like... They put a whole lot of fucking work into that, man. Uh, yeah, we'll just finish this quest real quick. Well, hey there. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. Hey, how would you say your name? Hive? Uh, welcome to the stream. Why, you lit- Personal space meaning anything to you guys? You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. You got it, King. Uh, one of the games I think I'm gonna do uh, on another live stream is uh, my 100% run of Red Dead 2. Come to the Silver Rush for all Spike your Pacer's drugs? Um, didn't know you could. Damn it, Sam. Is that a real thing? I do not remember that. And I don't know if I've ever done it. And I will possibly be writing that down to add to my New Vegas fact video, because uh, that seems like a fucking cool little tidbit. I will be taking the Jailhouse Rocker outfits, because I am a huge Elvis Presley fan. At least I was when I was a kid. I really enjoyed Elvis when I was a kid. And, uh, like, I met an Elvis impersonator when I was really little and gave him a giant fucking teddy bear, and I was like, oh, I fucking love Elvis. And then I, because, like, I thought he, like, was Elvis because I was little and stupid. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? I am getting Rex as a companion. Fuck yeah, Rex and Boone all the way. We're gonna get all the companions, and I'm going to do at least Arcade's quest for sure. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> No, thanks. Then he should watch his back. His drugs are under his we bed. You spike it during the quest from the NCR when you have to deal with the kings. Wow. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, What's the criteria for that? The game tracks so 100%. You have to do understand. all the main missions, obviously. You have to get a certain amount of gold medals in the missions. You have to collect all of the side shit. You have to do... X amount of stranger missions. Like, you have to do all the stranger missions. Like, you have to do all of the missions. You have to hunt all the animals. You have to... You have to do everything. These guys are off but I know there's a, there's a list. Heard about what you did here. Raul's like you super underrated. Game. I don't know about that, King Kuro. Everybody... Every, almost every time I'm like, hey, uh... What's everybody's here? They're like, fucking Raul. He's the best companion of all time. Not saying that he's bad. I'm just saying that he seems to be rated pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of people fucking like that guy. But a lot of people, uh, I imagine, go with Boone and Rex. But I, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that Kevin and uh, King Kuro. Come to the Silver Rush Wait, not King Kuro. Uh, whoever was talking about, uh, damn it, Sam, about uh, pacing, 
drugging Pacer or fucking with his drugs. Okay, so the king went upstairs with his lady friends. I'm gonna wait so that we don't have to... Oh, man. Now it's... Now it's fucking... Doing that stupid shit with scrolling the other... Oops. Scrolling the other window on my... Uh, other monitor when I use the mouse wheel. It's always really fun. Alright, he should be back down here. He is not. Don't make me go get you, dude. Oh, come on. What a pain in the ass. There are some uh, unique items inside this place, though. I forget exactly which one. I'd have to probably look in every room. We might get lucky. Oh, right here. So, uh, the golf ball. These are unique to this area. Well, there might be some at Camp Golf. Might be some at Camp Golf. But uh, there's also ping pong balls here, which I'm pretty sure those only... Only show up here because there's like a beer pong table what's this bunch of king's outfits damn son the king is all that his name implies and then some fine i heard all about what happened Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. I get it. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Just this once. Name whatever you want. Don't. Okay. So. I feel like science should be a little higher because then we can boost it or something else. Speech 75. You know what? I'm dumping speech. Um, we'll get the Rex mission. Better since you okay. What's up? Yeah, he is living like a king always. He's dope. One of my favorite characters of all time. Any Fallout game? Hey, Smith Bob. Um, Sprunkle Chongle, Bungle. Uh, whole lot going on with that <laughs> super chat. But I thank you very much for the five pound super chat. Uh, you're a bona fide G and a certified stud for that shit. Now I'm fucking lost. There we go. That's why I didn't want to come up here. Use lupus brain. Uh, I always just go with the easy option of using fucking Violet, Violetta. Okay, we really need to go to Mick and Rouse. for all your shopping needs. I'm trying. Oh, nice, Kevin. Julie's not mad at us, but, uh... That is good to know. I will try it. Got him. Get him, Boone. What the fuck? sure that I just repair these. Uh, dealing with a bunch of bullshit there. Wait. I know I'm going to make a rouse. Let's do that.
Hey, Hive, nice, man. I like Fallout 4. I think it's a bad rap, but I think it's hey. alright. Oh my god! I thought... <laughs> I thought he was just shooting at us. I was like, what the fuck did we do? If you're looking for guns, talk to... Alright, come back Ah, and shit. I should... We'll deal with that again. Over here. Had enough? There we go. If you're looking for guns, talk. Okay. So now we'll just wait twenty four hours. Yeah, the thug was probably just following us from outside. Uh, like, that first encounter that we had with that one outside, there was probably more than one. He just followed us in. Hello. Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ron. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Oh, you know what? Man, Jacob. Four seventeen. That's not very much at all. The fuck. Got here. I would like to get rid of which I'm not going to use. Back Another over 10k, and we're good to go. Hey, you're the one who's been. 19 bottle caps? Hell yeah, man. Thanks. Okay, so... I'll just get Santiago for the duck collector. I'm gonna recruit old Ben for... How are you today? Wing Dang Atomic Tango. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Yeah, that gun's Here fucking awesome, out. life's tokens. I you are correct Santiago about that. Santiago Act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. I'm sure I'll hear about you again soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy. No, I wonder what he wants. Check it out, between the dumpsters there. Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Well, F's in the chat for that fucking guy. And his boyfriend. Oh, yes, thank you for the Fs. He needs to be remembered. For his stupid fucking plan that he had there. Yep, took bloody mess first chance we got. I like the damage boost it gives you, plus it's hilarious. It makes the gore funny instead of shocking. <laughs> Okay, now we'll go get Fisto. 
Oh, Grex. Hopefully... Yeah, Declan's still in here. Declan, we'll go punch Grex right now. Like you wanted me to. Oh? A lot of free side thugs today. Just in case I'll save. Hey man, can you spare a few caps? Oh, oh I should have yeah. punched him in the face, fuck. I guess the Garrett set you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. We'll do all the speech checks on him. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. Anything. Take it. Just don't kill me, man. By the way, the damn eye of yours is creepy. <laughs> A scum humping water baron did this to me. No one trash talks the eye. That's it. No one insults the eye. I've got you now. He ain't pretty no more. Ooh, they didn't like that. Okay, okay. I don't want to be mixed in Frieza. Hey that man. was for Declan. Can you spare? I won't. Yeah, if it didn't give me the reputation uh, debuff, I I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> you stared at me eye. What what do you stare at me eye for? Oh, you and you're not even you're uh, Jesus Christ. You're talking about fucking trailer park boys too. What you what you looking at me eye for? <laughs> Just looking at me gut for Ricky, quit fucking staring at his gut. Uh okay, yeah, hashtag that was for Declan. In full effect. Anyway, back to Fisto. Rex Collins, yeah, there you go. Okay, so hmm, hot diggity daffodils. We've got stuff with Whoops. not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. Going to visit Fisto. been a long time. Yeah, there's a lot in Dead Money that keeps you from having a good time. <laughs> but it's, uh, atmosphere is fucking stellar. Oh, lordy, lordy. All right. I don't know what the hell's clanking around so damn much. I guess these. Nice. We'll try him out. One in the chat to try Only out Fisto, two in the chat to not try out Fisto. Active and reporting for duty. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Oh, one is winning by a landslide. Servos active. Operation complete. Thank you for your business. That all you got, robot? Are you? Okay.
Thank you for the live reacts, by the way. Well, I guess they're shocked reacts right now. But thank you for them. I appreciate it. Again, I don't know how they help the stream or what they count for. But I appreciate those who do them. Yes, yeah, Zadine opened the stream to see the fisting. Well, welcome to the stream. That's how we fucking roll around here. How far are we in? Well, uh, I'd say we're about six hours in. Because uh, the first stream was about five hours long. Um, right now I'm doing the free side quest before getting into like Vegas proper. And we, what the fuck it is that pointing to? A different rocks. door? Because now, we just need to go to the right. Unless this is the other right. No, this is right. All right. Patty Dunn did it again. <laughs> Top tier meme. Top tier emoji. Alright, old Ben. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced in area without authorization for I'm deleting the Starfield video. Uh, I deleted my last, like, ranting video uh, because it just didn't fit in with the rest of my s stuff. I got my thoughts out into a video, and then uh, after a while I just privated it because it was like, eh. It doesn't need to be up there amongst everything else, just me bitching and whining. Instead of making fucking videos about something that actually matters. The name's old Thank you for the heart I've reacts. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop I have shop not seen under, what's going down with the Skyrim loss. update, People but uh, that sucks. That happens every time they update shakes. these fucking no games. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Hey, CMC, welcome to the stream. Before Thank you for the kind words. the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched a woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just That's sounds an appropriate old bit. Man whore. Yep. 
I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested Damn, in that the, kind of thing. the live reacts are flowing like water. Just made Thank you, guys. Empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? Hey, uh, I, I don't know, I don't want to say this name wrong, Sim, C-E-M, uh, the one talking about, uh, Tim Kane. uh, that's awesome, uh, he's a good person to have as one of your idols, I'll put it that way, uh, one of the nicest dudes I've ever met, very genuine, uh, very sincere, very nice, kind, and, uh, just a super fantastic person, so, I'm glad you enjoyed the interview, I was on cloud nine getting the chance to meet him and uh yeah he's a good person to look up to in my opinion so you're placing you're placing your your eggs in a good basket uh, pardon me you know what you're right i looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle i suppose i could be a like the word jam to some while simply relieve stress and tension in others like uh thanks for that i insight. would say J Tell Garrett Jaquinta. I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. Jaquinta? This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Yeah, Centurion, I really enjoyed uh, that my first bit was Starfield. As uh, time went on, uh, it got a little bit more, th like, stretched thin to me. I, I still think it's a decent game, but I understand what you're talking about. Submit to a credit check. Oh shit, I didn't even mean to do that. Fuck. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, hey, haven't you? Victor. Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting. Thank you, Victor. You might as well just do this real quick. So we've already kicked off the events. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Come back soon now. See you later. Where to, partner? Ben House. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Well, uh, Centurion, I, I'm not understanding what you're talking about. I didn't... Uh private a video because anybody was disagreeing uh, the video had like a 98% like ratio that I privated I privated it because it didn't 
it, it, it doesn't coexist with the rest of my content. Um, and I actually went into, uh, in quite detail, some of the same topics uh, in the last stream that I did of uh, this playthrough. Scotty Oates, thank you for the $5 super chat. Meep, D La Meep, 2024, Good New Vegas. Well, thank you very much for uh, the super chat. And I thank you for stopping by the stream as well. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. And my uh, my current Starfield impressions, uh, like first impressions video, uh, referring back to Centurion, is still totally public. And uh, I praise the game, and I still I still like the game a lot. But I realize that a whole lot of people don't like the game. So they're not going to like, they're not going to agree with me. So I don't like, I'm not going to take the video down because people don't agree with my positive take on it. Um, but I also see where they're coming from when it comes to like, uh, the negatives people have mentioned. It just took me, it took me a couple of weeks for the honeymoon phase to, ways, uh, to wear off with that game. Honestly, like I was really into it for like two, three weeks straight. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways. Literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. Hey, Anthropologue, good I to see you. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Um, yes. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What He's not wrong. On the strip Fucking love Vegas. Of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum. Yo, chip. Excel up, good what to see you, man. To Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Hey, Jinji, uh, Jinchi, thank you for stopping by the stream. Yeah, I agree. I, I feel like uh, Starfield's world is a bit stretched thin. I, I believe personally, like... Well enough. And I've heard... Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for um, us to discuss? When it comes to, like, the main quest, it's seriously, like, I consider it to be, like, the best main quest uh, that Bethesda's, uh, like, Emil has written in recent years um, until then just because it was different and i like that type of sci-fi uh but i also see why people like are shitting on that too Congratulations, but i think it's biggest like the problem is its scale if it was like one or two star systems you can bring your friends too and the like planets are actually the coherent and, well i mean they're just they're coherent but like uh you're the only one gets if care was put into them and it wasn't just lazy, like, AI procedural generation bullshit, and, like, it was fleshed out like a fucking, um, Bethesda game normally is. I feel like it'd, it'd be a much stronger contender in the hearts of everybody right now. Better main quests than Morrowind? I don't know if, uh, Emil wrote Morrowind. I'm only referring to the stuff that he's written. I think he did one of the DLCs for Morrowind. But I know that he wrote Fallout 3, 4, and Skyrim. Um, I just, it, it was my favorite of, of, of those. I, I, I like the unity. I like the multiple universes. But I'm a huge fucking sci-fi nerd to that exact type of sci-fi. And also, Jim uh, Quinta. Jim Quinta. Uh, thank you very much for becoming a uh, vault dweller. I appreciate you uh, for membering up on the channel. That means that she can use the awesome new uh, boon emoji that we have here. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. Halcyon 
else is waiting for you in his office. Did I turn that in? I think I turned it in. Because it's not giving me the option for... Yeah, okay. Where to, partner? Uh, we don't need to go to the fucking... Oops. Where to, partner? Casino floor. Hey, you there. I, I don't you. know the last time from Ambassador Crocker. Very I important. fucking watched a sci-fi movie. I don't think I've seen a newer sci-fi movie. But when I say it, those are the that's the exact type of sci-fi that I'm into like uh when it comes to like cartoon like Futurama um other cartoons that experiment with like sci-fi themes like throughout even if they're not just based in sci-fi or anything like that. Whenever they do a multiple universe or like even a time travel -y, like thing uh that's like uh, I'm, i i just think it's super fucking cool but um the way procedural generation was used in starfield is really neat but i think it also makes the game feel so dull and fucking uh like again stretched thin after you play for so long because like i feel like after like 100 hours i was just kind of like uh, the the sense of wonder isn't isn't the same as the 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 other games, but I enjoyed I enjoyed the main quest a lot. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades—we've got it all at the Silver Rush. Oh, that's okay. Hey, Which means we can get that done too. Um, get this done. Okay, that should be that quest. Liked by Freeside. And we'll do Deck Collector. Lady Jane then, she fucking sends us to that gosh darn cave. One thing I like um, about Starfield is uh, once you do become uh, Starborn, when you go through different quests and stuff, being able to just tell the fucking... Uh, the characters, the NPCs, like what's going on. Hey Nick, thank you very much for the five dollar super chat. Put it all on black. I'm not in front of a roulette table right now, but uh, maybe we will. Maybe we'll do a max bet on black. Wait, yeah, you can do roulette here in New Vegas. I never do, but I'm pretty sure you can. At Hello. least one of the casinos. Uh, yeah, Brock Flower Cave. So, getting the rest of uh, the money at Brock Flower Cave, I always find to be a pain in the ass. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I just think it's a little fucking ridiculous to have to go all the way out. Yeah, Blue Donkey, who were you before? You said you changed your name, right? Oh, you're for real. Oh, okay. Nice. Blue donkey. Now I know. 
Yeah, um, I'm hoping mods come soon for Starfield too. I think um, that will help. I think uh, a lot of the there will be some cool creativity there. Primar, good to see you. Um, I like. I don't want to say like, oh, it's you know gonna fix the game or whatever completely because I don't like believe that. But I do think that. Other people's creativity will help that game world. Uh, no, there's not a whole lot of bugs to say my name, but uh, the the game world uh, after the, after you spend a long time in it, I it, it doesn't have the same charm as other Bethesda games do. But uh, I quite enjoyed my time with it. Hey, thank you uh, very much, uh, Animan. For coming around. Oh, you're playing Fallout 2 for the first time. Fuck yeah, man. What a great fucking thing to do <laughs> with your time. And holy shit, HPZ, are you serious? Well, if you're drunk, don't send any more super chats. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for you fucking sending a bunch of money that you were, you know, if you're intoxicated. But holy shit, man, a fat $50 big dig super chat from HPZ. I appreciate you so much, man. That's super generous. I hope you're having a good night. Um, damn, son. Just thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, if, you, if you're drinking in a new... <laughs> don't send me any more money. <laughs> oh, man, I haven't played StarCraft in so long. Damn it, Sam. OG uh, StarCraft? Holy shit. Back in the day. Yeah, PZ, though. Thank you very much, man. Oh yeah, the mods will definitely help with the longevity of Starfield, for sure. Well, HPZ, uh, thank you for really liking my videos. I appreciate you big time. That was super generous, dude. And it seems like you're having a good night, so that's good too. All right. Also, almost out of ammo for this. Let's. Where's the sturdy caravan shotgun? Use this. Centurion, I don't know what you're talking about. Super chatting to ask the hard questions. What do you mean? Like, if there's, if there's something that, like, I've done to... Like... Make you feel like you were unfairly treated or something, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, like, talk to you about it, but... I privatized the video... Due to nothing... I, I know nothing about what you're talking about, so... It has literally zero to do with, uh, like, anything... I've never seen your name before. I've never... Nothing. Like, uh, and if I have seen your name, like, I don't remember seeing your name. Like, uh... I didn't... I wasn't all over those comments. Uh, I liked comments. I read through some... Oh, man, I'm gonna get wrecked right here. Let's just reload that. I liked some comments on that video before I privatized it. And then eventually deleted it. Um... But I would read a comment and be like, oh yeah, you know, like, it, I wasn't like necessarily paying attention to it, so if I liked your comment or whatever, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, YouTube also doesn't tell me when I get super thanks. I don't get like a separate notification for that, uh, even th when I have them turned on. Um, so if there was a super thanks or something on that, I, I didn't see it. I, but I, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I sent money during an interview with the Frontier devs because they refused to answer your questions otherwise. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to say, like, uh, that you, like, super chatted to, like, ask me a question and I didn't answer it or something. Um, 
No, man, I privatized the video because it was literally me bitching and moaning about something that the audience has no frame of reference on. And if I push it any further, like, and give an audit, like, the last stream that I had yesterday, I talked a bit about what I talked about in that video. And I think it's much more appropriate to talk about it in a stream than it is to make some fucking video where I'm rambling nonsensically. Uh, to my audience who doesn't even really have a frame of reference of what I'm talking about. So if I'm like, oh, Bethesda won't follow me on social medias even though, you know, they they were acting like shit was going to be cool between me and them and then they were talking down to me in DMs. Like, unless I show you DMs, which I think is over the line in a video. Or, you know, stuff like that. Like, it doesn't, like, it, it like, who cares? Like, my audience doesn't give a shit about that. Um... Like, that, that, that's literally the only reason I privatized the video. It had nothing to do with my opinion of Starfield. The video had, like, a 98% like ratio, so it wasn't because people were disliking it or not agreeing with it. I just literally thought me bitching and moaning wasn't a good look, so I fucking privatized it, because I got my feelings out. Anyway, M uh, MSM, thank you very much for the super chat. Do I think Fallout 5 will be a flop? That's an interesting question, man. Actually, you, it's kind of a crapshoot. You don't really know uh, anymore. Um, well, <laughs> Centurion, apparently I can't do whatever I want because you've been grilling me about it like it's, like, been personally against you for the past, like, 10 or 20 minutes, man, and I, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I don't know if Fallout 5 will be a flop. Uh, like, I, like I said before, I enjoyed Skyrim, but I totally understand why other people didn't. So it's like... <sighs> fuck, dude, you never know. Like... A lot of people, uh, a lot of people are worried about Elder Scrolls 6, too. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. Maybe. <laughs> like, I would hope not. You would think not, but, like, fucking never know these days. And then someone asked if I played 76. You have a lot of hours in 76. What's up with these rats? They're really fucking strong, and Boone's not doing anything to help us. I'm getting wrecked by them. Rodents of unusual size. They're uh, a reference to a princess bride. <laughs> the movie. I didn't say you were interrogating me. Centurion, I mean, the, the chat's here. I don't need... I, <laughs> like, you're like, you can do whatever you want, but you privatized this video, and I'm really... But it, like, you've just been going on about it, is what I meant. And it's just like, I'm... It wasn't against you, my dude. It was just literally because the video just didn't fit with the rest of my content. It just... It was, like, my the rest of my videos, it doesn't... <laughs> it, it, like... I don't know. Like wasn't the right look in my opinion so I changed my mind about wanting that to be a video which I feel like I've explained so all right check it out here these fucking rats I don't know where Boone is and why I'm having such a hard time with these rats. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. Get out of here. You fucking rat. Alright, we worked through a bit of them there. They usually don't give me that fucking ridiculously aggressively at the beginning of this entrance here. I mean, sometimes you, you know, get a few of them, but don't. I'd like all of them rush me. I have to go through the fucking rads. Dude, come on, Centurion. I'm not hostile, Centurion. Knock it off. <laughs> this, is, this is exactly what I was alluding to when I was talking about it before. Uh, 
Uh, okay, well, I'm pretty sure the Rat uh, Slayer is in this fine cave of ours here. Um, it is good and would help us with the rats that we are facing. I'm pretty sure this is the way we came. Yes. Anyway, back on track here. Um, what's the way up? Well, that barrel just moved on its own. That was spooky. Bro, what's the problem? Is it over here? Am I so out of touch? Why am I having such a hard time finding... Like, because I know that the... Okay, the cliff's right there. Do we go through there and I'm just dumb as hell? And came out this way when I didn't even have to? Yeah, Boone has to be stuck somewhere. I haven't seen him this entire time. He's probably just chilling at the fucking entrance. Or was he stuck down there somewhere? Man, I'm dumb as hell. I could have just sniped the rats from up here, too. Oh, this isn't even the overlook. So I'm even dumber than I was before. But this is where we need to be for the fucking quest, I think. There it is. Shit. But I do want to get the rat slayer while we're here, at least. Come on, now. Good XP here, though. Dude, I saw that. Okay, I was gonna say, I saw a fucking rat over here. Nice try. Yeah, whatever. Oh my god. There's one behind me. Shit. They just start crippling you. Yeah, I wish Boone was helping. Anyway, Rat Slayer's in here somewhere. Right there. There was a bed in here too. Damn, it's all glitched out. I thought there was a bed in here. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. fucking get lost doing this too. <laughs> okay, shit. For realsies though. Oh fuck, this is... Okay. You know what? Okay, I know how to do this. We made it. Jeez Louise. Whoops. Alright. Oh, I left Boone in front of the Lucky 38. We didn't fucking tell him to follow us again. That's where Boone is. 
Yeah, it's possible. 100% fall in New Vegas. 100%. 100%. I've got your back. Shit, man. Oh, that's why uh, people were saying Boon in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Patty. Yeah, we left his ass. Yeah, I just left him there and like, what the fuck, Boone? You're not even helping with the rats. You dick. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. You're right, uh, Vertibon. Guys will see Frieza and just think, hell yeah. Some gamblers came in. All right, so now we get uh, McLafferty on the strip. What's my favorite real casino? Well, um, you want someone dead? I don't really like go to a whole lot of them. I've been to a few of them in Vegas because I've, I've stayed at them. Um, I stayed at Treasure Island and I stayed at uh, I stayed at Planet Hollywood. Out of the two, I liked Planet Hollywood more. But they were both all right. Um, I'm probably going to stay at the Bellagio next year. And, uh... see what's up. But, uh, the Caesar Casinos... Dude, yeah, it's Caesar's Palace, dude. The mall they have in Caesar's Palace is so ridiculous. Circus Circus. Oh, that's... Uh, I haven't gone through that one yet. I don't think. I went to the Rio because I went and saw Penn and Teller. That place has seen better days for sure. But uh, the Penn and Teller show was fucking amazing. Huh. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. I heard Circus Circus's uh, little theme park thing doesn't exist anymore, damn it, Sam. And they took it out. Because <laughs> uh, they're... Uh, Every year, uh, I go to Vegas for Fallout New Vegas Day, and I always check out the Vegas vloggers that, you know, go through and stay at all the hotels and tell you about everything, and well, that I'm pretty like sure that's what one of them has I get to said. Free with the Garrett's thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can yeah, I always that. stay in Vegas I when I go down there for that. The uh, Would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. We did it, boys. Hello. I <laughs> laid back down. Oh, you were there like 20 years ago? Yeah, uh, they apparently they quit doing that. You've never sided with the Legion? Well, I think there's some achievements for it, so you're missing those, Mr. Case. Um, but... It wasn't... It's not as fleshed out as it should be, so... Hey. I mean, there's some... There's a couple of cool things that you get to do, like, uh, taking out Kimball and stuff like that. It's, it's I always hear you've neat, been but... making a name for yourself on the Strip. That's about it. Don't forget about the Wrangler if you make it big. And Sam here is saying it's a great playthrough, so... Yes! Where's I agree his hat? With him. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with That's it. That's right, HPZ I missing need to find achievements. A place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. What kind of build are you we running? Um, I did speech lockpick and guns. 
Now that he's dead, we're happy um, to let you use it. Hi, Lux. Thanks for helping us. I can show you the build. It's like a, the, the pretty standard New Vegas build. Look, we're leveling up right now, so you can even see the skills. So these are our skills right now. Um, let's get science up to 50, just in case we need it to be. Um, repair up to 80. And this one point... I'll put it in speech. See what we got here. I'll probably take finesse. I love finesse. Um, toughness too isn't bad either. Honestly, hunter's good, especially when we start going after deathclaw and stuff. You know, I'm taking hunter. Fuck it. Against animals. Yeah, it doesn't matter what kind. Yeah, critical damage against animals. Get fucked. Okay, so now any thoughts on the 2d20 uh, Fallout tabletop? Uh, no, not really, because I, I I don't really dabble with that stuff. I've heard from multiple sources, including Tim Kane, that it was good. But uh, so I trust those. I trust that review of it. But, uh, my, personally, no, I don't, I, I've never tried it, so I don't have any. Ah, fuck, they're abominations? Ah, fuck. Maybe we wasted our perk. Ah, whatever. It'll come in handy. Maybe we should just get banned from the casinos? Let me talk to Mr. Holdout. Hey there, friend. I'm trying to think of the other... Oh! Let's, uh... Ah, uh, well, okay. Okay. Alright. 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 Yeah, good against Cassidors. Boom. Caustic, boom. Hey, That's exactly no exactly to how we're going <laughs> to look at that. With me. I thought I counted again for death claws as well. I really did. You'll get these back on your way out. Cool. What was my holdout weapon? Nothing. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? I'm going to get banned from Gamora here. I got kicked out of Ultra Lux the other day. Man, that Oh, you know what? Let's get the one armed bandit. Gives me the fucking freaks. Uh, challenge. We're playing the slots here. Spawn in uh, Joanna before Kachino, or she won't spawn. Yeah, that'd be shit, wouldn't it? I have not received the mysterious man. I mean, like I've gotten it in other playthroughs, but no, we haven't we grabbed it in this playthrough. Damn, son! Look at that. I'm into that. Looks What's like my alliance? Uh, the chat goal. voted for an NCR Lucky run this time. Young. Tonight. Here's a little something from the family. Uh, I need to go to the the courtyard real fast. It, honestly, I'm not gonna. It's not the end of the world if we can't do that quest. But uh, and MSM uh, with another super chat. Do you think a Fallout 2 type game would be a hit if it was really? Eh. I mean, if you look at Baldur's Gate, like that top-down turn-based like game isn't completely out of everybody's eyes. They did a very good job with it, and that's the main reason. But so, like, it could be done correctly. It could be done correctly. 
Do I think it would immediately be a success? No, I think it would, you know, like people would have to get into it, but, uh, but, uh, it's, it wouldn't immediately fail, you know, like, if it was a good game, people see that these days, and it could work. Thank you for the super chats today. Yeah, I've seen that uh, boomer shooter version of Fallout 2 in the Doom engine. That shit's uh, pretty, pretty legit. That's my favorite soundbite in New Vegas. The yo yo. <laughs> so right now we're getting banned from the Gamora. Before we make our way over to the Aces, uh, confront Benny and then do the, the you keep on spending I mean, money in here. the you tops, and then do the Aces quest. Back. Here's something nice for you. Fallout, but it's like BG3. Well, Tactics is kind of like that, but if it was uh, made nowadays, it could stand a chance of being real. I, I really think uh, a dual stick shooter with a Fallout skin would be really fun, and then you could just make, uh, you know, giant, like, packs of levels for it. I think that'd be really, really fun. Special stats? I don't know them off the top of my head, but I can show them to you if you remind me after we're done playing Blackjack here. Alpha Wolf with a uh, $2 super chat. Did you notice the sounds from the strip gates? Yeah, that keeps playing. So. Uh, it seems to just happen. There he is again, the legend. Thank you for the super chat, Alpha. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I have 10 luck, Amnesia. Ah, fuck. Didn't have to do me like that. Or like that. Nurbert would have already killed everyone. I love Nurbert, man. He's uh he's fucking awesome. It's not giving it to me anymore. Christ. Yes. Okay, that's that. No more. Thank you. Welcome to Gamora. Ten K boys. So yeah, we're gonna run to the tops. Confront Benny, get all that shit going. And then um We'll fucking find out. I need to Alright, good to go. But I wanna do the aces quest as well. Because it fills up this marquee, and I think that's dope. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of Yeah, advice. I think you can if you happen to stumble partake in the prostitutes. Here, well, just don't I think wear them you openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the top? I just want to know if Benny's going to be coming down the stairs or if he's going to already be in his uh, position. A lot of times I come in here and him and his friends are like right there. But this time he is in his spot. Hey. 
What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick-skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private-like. Any questions you got? I'll I agree, answer. damn it, Sam. F in the chat for Matthew Perry. I think I can get behind that. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Those are beautiful Fs, boys. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I became a fan of Friends after I met my wife. She was really into it. Watched it uh, through a few times with her, and I was like, all right. All right. This is all right. It's not, it's not too bad. A lot of people fucking hate it, though. I understand that, too. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Luck is for losers, baby. Someone pulled strings. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Look at me, a big leaguer, so I claim, making all the mistakes of an original loser. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? You've got a crazy drop on me here, baby. That's for sure. If killing's what you came for, this would be the time. But baby, you'd be disappointing me. All the trouble you went through to arrange this shindig must be something more you're after. One, uh, ERO, uh, has voted to crucify Benny. So, one in the chat to crucify Benny. Two, to let him go like nothing happened. You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? You got questions? I got answers. The winner is very clearly won. Baby, you're the boss. All you gotta do is whistle. Yeah. Alright, see you later, Benny. I'll show me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Ooh, and we get sunglasses. Hello. Okay, we look dope. Okay, um, I think there's a bed in here too. That I could use. To sleep. You like killing him in the arena? Yeah, that is a good time. But it looks like crucifying one, so. <laughs> Crucifixion, the real <laughs> the real crowd please here. That's right, caustic. Okay, so now we can continue with our more wholesome activities here.
Or is Tommy Tortorini? Hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Tommy Tortellini, there he is. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. You scare the big boss man or something? Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy, but Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me? I think he's got a dame from Gamora. Hold on. Uh, Timothy, sweet. we're just, uh, it's, it's just a bit. gun speech lockpick build, so, uh, combustion guns. Well, apart from serving uh, as I've been a using, manager, I have that gun. All around man Love in it. Charge of this fine theater. I happen to be uh, its I've been using night. the hunting rifle, Every night cowboy from repeater. Eight till midnight. Come on by Nine to millimeter. see the Rad Pack review live. Only right here yeah, at the Yeah, I love the axe theater. after the quest. That's the coolest shit. The Lonesome Drifter, uh, Josh Sawyer is the one doing the singing lines for anybody who didn't know that. He's the game director of Fallout New Vegas. I always thought it was cool that he like well, recorded songs. A bit thin on the ground right, uh, now. right now we're not Every using any mod psych uh, got the Rad Pack. Uh, this is vanilla. Songs. Dancing, jokes, we got it all. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Ah, fuck. Should have bumped up the old barter. Ring a ding, my card. Can you get the lonesome drifter's gun without killing him? Uh, I think you can pick. Eh, maybe you can't pickpocket it. Wait, isn't there a speech check? For his shit? Hello. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are up. Um, okay, Vulpus. We're gonna have to dump you anyway. Shit. Talk. That guy Benny was a piece of work. If that's what you think. I'll make my way there. Because we're gonna pick up arcades so that we can get that Enclave quest. And I'm just gonna have to look it up like where his I triggers are for it. She's good looking for a ghoul. It's just too bad. She Thank you for visiting New Vegas. So we're heading to the old Mormon fort. To recruit Arcade. And get the Enclave quest. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> that guy Patty was a roof. God damn. Oh, that meme is so good. I love it. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we're gonna grab Arcade because I want to... Get his like companion points going so we can have the enclave on our side. Come to Nick and Ralph's for all this actually seems needs. like pointless busy work, but I do like me some enclave. Make sure to like the stream, by the way, if you're enjoying it. Helps out the channel and subscribe to the channel if uh, you haven't already. One of my aides said you got into the Lucky 38. 
If you see someone by the name of If you Emily like Fallout Vader, facts and we would like you to work for us. I'm working on a Fallout Iceberg video right now and a sequel to my three hour long New Vegas fact video that I'm hoping is going to be a similar length. Uh, trying to get enough facts to do that, so just making those in the meantime. And been uh, trying to stream more lately. Ooh. Yeah, so we can get the Rex quest going. Um, there was something else, but I was, oh, I was coming for arcade, <laughs> so I'm just fucking way out in the field, where you be, there you are, so, yeah, anyway. hi, if you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors, I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out of barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup sole. Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them you did another pleasant. emoji there, it's Patty? It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have a sense <laughs> of language, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even see. <laughs> yeah. You finished four of them? Holy shit, Patty. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Timothy, Caesar you've watched the Fallout New Vegas video three or four times. times. Thank you. Course. Jesus you Christ. To the new world in the image of the old. A sad story you would keep my family fed. Bad. I'm serious regard, too. <laughs> like watching that video is if you set aside his leadership capabilities fucking top tier when it comes to uh cutting, he's just another jerk who steps on supporting the channel. <laughs> That's uh, the video I get the most ad revenue on, like, ad because of its length and its popularity. But, oh, uh, sorry. There's nothing new under the sun. It's definitely my most popular video. It has, like, five million views. The locals would have and uh, it's, like, it three and a half hours long. So. Certainly. It's been very kind to my bank account. <laughs> With that one. That, that's, like, my, my first video to do that well and, like, to see, the, for me to see, like, what that Out means, sight, and I was like, oh, thing. damn, like, there are worse things one can be. definitely want more videos to do that. Boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think... Makes me want to make better videos, you know fruit. what I mean? No pun intended. But it also influences me to... No offense intended, but why should um, I go anywhere with you? Make a sequel to that video. Uh, make more like it, you know? Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix free What problems, specific video is that? Uh, Fallout New Vegas. Solution. Fair? Uh, th like over three hours of useless Fallout New Vegas facts, I believe is what it's called. Something along those lines. All right. Let's not waste any time. There are people out there to help. Things to learn. Oh, yeah. Nightbot's order, fucking speaking the truth in the chat right now. Uh, if you're looking for Mantis t-shirts, TKS Mantis t-shirts, uh, check, uh, I, I, people always tell me I do a bad job at plugging my stuff, I, like, never plug anything, like, to subscribe or like the stream or to check out my merch, but there's links to my merch that, uh, Nightbot just posted, and in the description there's a link to it, uh, so if you ever wanted a Mantis shirt or something like that, uh, there's free shipping going on right now, uh, until January 1st, on my Teespring store. And you can become a channel member. I'm going to start uh, doing a lot of members videos. I've just been trying to actually get my members to tell me what kind of videos they want to see. And Kyle, by the way, it's good to see you. I see you up there in the chat. Um, anyway, check those things out if you want to support the channel more directly. And uh, thank you for just even coming to the stream and hanging out. Those things are not required. 
for me to uh, chat with you and have a good time. MSM, um, I imagine that New Vegas is going to remain a classic for a very long time. Yeah, Hive, uh, those long videos showing up when people sleep is like fucking the best news for me. I love like that. Oh, Arcade putting in work already. Got him. Okay, so... Um, I actually never, ever fucking remember what it is that we need to do for Arcade's quest. So, let me see. Arcade's... Quest. Alright, so... This quest is initiated uh, by Arcade Ganon when he realizes that his old friends from the now defunct Enclave can make a difference in Sick of Battle Hoover Dam. The quest is triggered by having Arcade as a companion, gaining his trust, and having progressed to one of the main storyline triggers. If he wasn't recruited by the time it happened, if the player character is following Caesar's Legion's quest, equipping a suit of NCR armor will allow Arcade to be recruited. Storyline triggers. The specific point in the story that will trigger the quest varies based on whether the player character has gained Arcade's approval. See actions below. Okay, so... If Arcade approves of the player character, uh, he has to have at least two trust points. So... He needs to... What section? Oh, right here. Gaining approval. So, one point for traveling with Arcade to the crashed vertebrate southwest of Camp Searchlight. So, we're going to head over there. Sorry for the hang up here. Now, Fort can give you two points. Oh, hey, MSM. Thank you for the super chat. What now? I can just grab the two points off of something else. But I thought he didn't fucking like the Legion. He didn't, like, want to deal with that. I guess I could have just asked the chat instead of looking it up like this on my phone. Um, one point... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Two points for saying good thing there are still people like you around to Thomas Hildern. Um, oh, if we just go to Camp McCarran and talk to Hildern... And fucking suck up to him. Oh, the fort. Yeah, if you travel to the fort, Arcade triggers dialogue with the courier inquiring why they're there. Let's just listen to him and figure it out. Gives you two trust points. But I feel like we don't have to go to the fort yet to do that. Because we can just go to the Camp McCarran and talk to Hildren. Speaking to Hildren about anything at all, any conversation that ends with Hildren saying yes, goodbye, or wrong turn with Arcade will allow... Along will cause Arcade to start a conversation afterward about Hildren and his motives. Saying, good thing there are still people like you around will give you two trust points. Alright, let's see, uh... Yeah, Lunar, I really do. Uh, ad revenue is my only income, and it's definitely my... Yeah, like... I'm able to pay my bills and, like, live comfortably from it currently, and I have been for a while. So it definitely helps for people to, like, turn those on if they're sleeping or something like that. I've never suggested it because, uh, you know, I'm not trying to cheat any system or anything. But people come to me and say, hey, I fall asleep to your videos when I'm going to bed. Uh, that helps me out tremendously if you don't have ad blocker on or whatever. I think uh, YouTube Premium is also uh, uh, good because YouTube wants you to either get ad revenue or use YouTube Premium. So it favors those two systems is why I'm, uh, I'm saying that. So Anyway, fuck. Yes, but uh, we were going to run down to Camp McCarran. All right. Um, so we need to go southwest to Camp McCarran here. And we'll just go talk to Hildren. That way we don't have to go up to fucking the fort and get going through all that nonsense. You've been thinking about uh, getting uh, to Fallout? Have you, and you haven't played any Fallout before and you want to know where you should start in the series? Um, 
Anywhere's a good start. I mean, if you're brand fresh new to the series, you might want to try Fallout 4 because it's the most modernized, you know what I mean? Um, and then that, uh, you can, you know, get used to that and then check out the, the other ones that may be a bit more difficult compared to that one to get into. Uh, well, no, I don't think they're difficult to get into, but it's like, I feel like that one is the most modernized, like, Fallout that we well I mean seventy sixes but I I would recommend sticking to the single player ones, but um, uh, yeah, enjoy them. Check out the classic uh, games Fallout and Fallout Two uh, after you decide if you're into the series or not because those can be uh, enjoyed by uh, somebody who has the patience to learn them. Uh, they have terrific stories. Oh, and Hive, thank you for that compliment up there before about my voice being good. Um, good. That's probably, that's, you know, that's probably why my YouTube uh, does at least as good as it does. It's because people like my voice. Okay, so. You have to hand it to the NCR. Get enough hands working together and they We're going to run break. over to Hildern. And fucking We won't go quietly. The Legion can kill get two trust points from our kid. Did I like Fallout 4 when it was first released? Um yes and no. Like uh I like I liked like where the gameplay was going. Like the, the I thought I thought the gameplay had tremendous improvements, but like I felt like the story was the, the main quest was a bit shallow. Um, but I thought the world, like the Commonwealth, was like fucking super cool. I thought they did a really good job with that. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault Twenty Two. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade. Vault 22. Oh, fuck, I forgot to, uh... Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Uh... Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground. Hung so it's... Fat, ripe oranges, a harvest... Saying, good defeat, thing there are still people like you around. ...or a nation to, I believe, Arcade, but speaking to Thomas Hildren about anything at all, any conversation that ends with Hildren saying yes, goodbye, or wrong turn? <laughs> oh, that didn't, uh, Yes? Something else you... Oh. We're just going through his dialogues real quick. To hopefully... Ah, we did it. Hildern is a good example of big picture. So we need to say, good far. thing there are still people like you At some like point, he became so fixated on large-scale results that he lost the concept of the common good along the way. It's an inhumane kind of public What do I think Fallout 5 will probably get wrong? I'm not sure. They need become numbers in a ledger. I mean, I feel like Night Spear had nice fucking uh, emoji you got there. Yeah, no, I use uh, premium as well, Lunar, and thank you for uh, watching my videos that way on your way to uh, work and things of that nature. Um, I appreciate it. And then uh, YouTube Premium goes into the same, like... Uh, pool as like ad revenue uh when it when you look at the analytics so uh that's all like kind of shared the same thing and yeah i like uh i like youtube premium myself uh okay yes so that's it's what i need to, to say. say but there are better people all right than me so here. now that we have our two trust so points so followers can make a difference in from the arcade when the quest triggers okay so we need okay all right, so now we have two trust points. And having 
progress to one of the main storyline triggers, even if he wasn't recruited at the time. So... Hey. The house always wins. Part 5 is active, and the player reports back to Mr. House while a card change for the Republic is active. The character reports back to Colonel Moore that House has been killed. Okay, so after we... Okay. So it's after, like, a major fucking event. Whether he's recruited or not. Um... It triggers it. All right. Did Dr. Hildern... All right. We're definitely not doing Vault 22 right now. So we could probably have Boone. No, because Boone's just going to be instantly aggro to Legion and... We can get Rex though. Evening. Oh, you know what we should do then, before we even do any of that. Just talk to Daughtry here. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Yeah, I gave the power to everyone, uh, because I spaced on that and was like, oh, I'm doing a you oh, and but you're talking about the use uh, the Euclid Seafinder. I uh uh, I'm doing an NCR run, so I should have diverted it to the places they wanted, but I gave it to everybody. Okay. So we'll go bounty hunt. I'm not exactly immersed real quick. In taking out gum bags of this magnitude wouldn't cause me to lose any sleep. Go get the alien blaster? Alright, Timothy, we can do that. It's like... Okay, we'll see what happens. Is this going to let me discover Crimson Caravan? All right. We'll be doing their missions soon, too. You've never seen a mission on my channel before. Yes, this is uh, Fallout New Vegas. I highly recommend it. Right now we're going to get the Alien Blaster at the request of Timothy Selman there in the chat. Also going to change my weapon because... That is not the one I want to use. Nice, BB. By the way, I see your uh, story there about getting New Vegas for Christmas. And uh, it's a great story. It blew me away, too. Great game. Diggity daffodils. Somewhere out here is the like open house that doesn't require a loading screen to go inside of it, which was unheard of uh, back on this uh, generation of Fallout games. Is it this one? No. It's just out here on the open map cell instead of having its own uh, cell. And no, uh, we're not running any mods, just vanilla there. Just having a good time in like good old vanilla Fallout New Vegas. There's something out there, Arcade, what is it? Yeah, there are a bunch of fiends there. That is true. 
closer to the format here. Yeah, something like that. I put it in my video in the New Vegas fact video. One of my favorite facts. But yeah, I'm making a whole new list of facts. Uh, scrounging through the wiki to find interesting shit. Uh, playing, like, I've been taking notes as I'm playing through here on stuff that I might think is interesting. Um, they are just useless facts, so they don't have to be, you know, crazy. Not all of them have to be crazy, insane, you know, deep facts that nobody knows or anything. Yeah, Toastadora, yeah. I, I'd like to check out the new, uh, the new version of the Frontier to see what they have cooking, honestly. Like, no meme. I'd like to, I'd like to see what the, what it's all about now, but, um, yeah, it was rough before. Okay, we'll quick save here just to be safe. But yeah, here we go, Timothy, we're, uh. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. Dude, I haven't played Witcher, and I want to. I, I own it, but I just haven't played it. I love how these textures haven't loaded in yet. Good old New Vegas, man. Dude, Arcade's a beast. Jeez Louise. Alien Blaster. We did it, Timothy. I don't know what that's about. There we go. One dollar, I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say. Useless fact, uh, being that Hunter works on ravens. Oh, like the perk works on ravens? But that second part is what I don't understand. Or that ravens can eye after takeoff? Die. Oh! Well, yeah, you can shoot them and stuff, or do you mean that they just, like, uh, <laughs> die on their own? So, okay, yeah. Um. Hey, hell yeah, Mr. Mike. This game's still great. Some fiends to deal with. And yeah, we'll grab Rex a new brain while we're out here. Okay. concerned about Violet and Violetta. Arcade's gonna smoke him. Here we go.
Yeah, the alien blaster is great for emergencies, too. I think you're right. Yeah, DC Real. I also love New Vegas so much. Right there with you. So I'm walking around this shit right now. Uh, you can just walk up through this area and get all of the bounties. Which, uh, yeah, most people who have played this a couple times know that already because we're this is Cook Cook right here. And we just hope that uh, Arcade doesn't blow his head up. Oh shit. That to piss him off. Hey MSM again with a super chat. The best super chat message I've ever seen. Well, I guess you're right, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Okay, sir. Let's see what we got. These are super good. Um, hunting rifle, bonus crit chance. Could use that alien blaster we just picked up. Oh, I feel like that's gonna be his mangled head now. Yep. Fuck. My HP going down that low. Hey, Kabuskus. Good to see you. Yeah, we vaporized Cook Cook. That was my bad. Got a little carried away. Violetta. Bingo. Okay. Now on to driver uh, Nafai. Yeah, man, I want to play The Witcher. Uh, I also have been wanting to play uh, Cyberpunk because uh, I stopped playing it after about 10 or 20 hours when it first launched because I figured they were going to fucking go through and update the shit out of it and DLCs would come. And now that that has happened, I um, really want to play through that. Get fucked. That's right, Lost Wolf. That is correct. Driver in the fire. Get fucked.
He is one of my favorite characters. Fiend, 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 fiend. There he is. Trying to sneak around on me. I think Arcade got him. Okay, we're just uh, repairing a few things here. Okay. Hey, P.I. Or Pi. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Love this game so much. I have to take multiple years. Before I go in again, New Vegas Bounties and some other big mod projects add to... Oh, man. Yeah, uh, playing through some guy's series. Uh, ooh, we. It's fun, so I'm going to have to do a stream through those again sometime. Uh... Great stuff, dude. The modding community for Fallout games are always just top tier. And, uh, I'm, I'm, since it's uh, all capitalized, I'm going to assume that it's P.I. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the generous super chat. I appreciate you. Yeah, Cyberpunk looks dope right now. Back to Camp McCarran we go. Daughtry's gonna be stoked. Well, it's not gonna be that stoked. Because, uh, all but Violet's head is mangled. I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. That's the best damn thing I've heard all day. Finally, somebody around here with some goddamn ambition. There's two psycho bastards left. Which one will it be? You've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close. What is my viewer and donation off. record? My um... advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of I don't remember. Recon. I remember, Snipers. like, I don't remember who lucky, did it. You can learn find like, hit the, the highest. But can bring there down. was a couple of people uh, the having a donation war one time, it's and like they each donated like five hundred dollars. That was crazy, call. and uh, I've had a couple, a, th a couple thousand concurrent viewers before, but um, typically, this is actually you know pretty uh, one eighty five. That's uh, if one one of my numbers is 169 the other one says 185 so uh that's actually a decently high-end number for me uh here on youtube and uh, i don't really stream anywhere else but um Out in the yard, i don't i also don't do a lot of streams so teams. He's been uh, hopefully as i do the more now. maybe more people will show the only up. thing he hasn't had is willing bait don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence not anymore yeah dominic yeah it would because I was thinking it was Dominic and Kim Spearhead that like had the donation war. You've gone after the fiends before. I don't have to tell you to keep alert. Good luck. <coughs> That's supposed to be Driver Nefi? Well, the head's in really bad shape, so I can't authorize the full reward. And if he really is dead, we're all better off. I guess we can send First Recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. That's two psychopaths dead. 
If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. Piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and that makes this personal. Also, he's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. From what I hear, he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's little Buster. So he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit, but I'd still ask him about it. Bounty Hunter talks big. Little Buster was alive, uh, so not can't be where he should bullshit. be. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. You've gone after the fiends before. And no one, uh, actually no one's even really said anything about Good it, luck. but, uh, I've thought about... This is Cook Cook. Oh, like, the webcam that I face. currently have, I think, is dog shit. Reward, but thanks for taking this and I've thought down. about getting, like, a it's good nice one and one of my running that She'll as well. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your uh, caps. While streaming. You've been one hell of a stroke of good so, luck. You know that. Might end up doing that. Those three scumbags well. probably killed twenty. But I like this. Troops. Like I feel like you bring so, them down not for everybody else, but Wish like I, I like showcasing the game, so I feel like good working with the webcam like takes away from that. I don't know. I know it doesn't like really, but um, let's get speech up. Boom, one hundred. Yeah, I don't know uh, where Little Buster is. He might be dead over by where his body goes by the strip. I'm not sure. So we'll do... Fuck, I should have... Alright, um... Opinion on, uh, Pacian, uh, Pens- uh, Man, I can never say this right. Pansia. Pansia. Am I saying it right? Pans- Pan- <laughs> Pa- Paciencia. I, I- I can't say it. <laughs> Especially right now. P.I., thank you for the super chat. Ever play, uh, Armed and Dangerous? No, I don't think so. Pacencia. Some not attempted to like patience, like pa pencia. I don't know why I have such a fucking hard time with that. Or especially right now. Like I knew like right now I couldn't say it before I even tried. I I've said it before in videos, so that's weird. But like my brain has like completely forgot how to fucking pronounce that. Hey, good night, PI. Thank you very much for the super chats. Pa see see ya. Pa seen see ya. Pa seen see ya. Pa seen see ya. Is that really how you say it? Pa seen see ya. Is that it? Pa seen pa seen see ya. I, I love that gun though. I think it's dope. That's the one with the flag tied around it, right? Pacincia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pacincia. Oh, paciencia. Son of a bitch. That's way easier than I thought it was. Pas. <laughs> now I can't say it again. Paciencia. Jesus Christ. Paciencia. It's a dope gun. What can I say? Things have been a lot better since you hit. Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. All right. Hi. But whose line change? What are you talking about? The kings? Some nut attempted to kill the head of one of Mr. House's families recently. Whoever did it is either crazy or has balls the size of Freeside.
Benny's sign changed? I don't know what you're talking about. Some nut attempted to kill the head of one of Mr. House's families recently. Whoever did is either crazy or has balls the size of three stars. Okay, we can go to Jacob's town. Uh, I don't know, ERO. Maybe it's the Mandela effect. And he never said that shit in the first place. You ever think of that? Think about that. Right now we're on our way to Jacobstown. Uh, MSM, no. Uh, me and Bethesda aren't really talking. <laughs> My contacts and, uh, at Bethesda probably don't want to contact me. Hey Martin, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good. for a long walk up to Jacobstown. What's that? Well, yeah, we're not doing Vault 22 right now. Hey, Goat of Liberty. Good to see you, man. Have I met Bindi yet? Yeah, we did that. I assume you, meet, you mean Benny. And yes, we did. Polo, five dollars, big super chat. Merry Christmas, Mantis, and all the chat. Thank you so much. You're amazing, man. Top tier shit right there. I appreciate you. Uh, we have not killed Benny yet, no. Uh, the chat voted to crucify him. Uh, goat, thank you very much, man. I'm, uh, I hope you're having a good lead up to the holidays, my dude. Uh, Timothy, that's a wild question. Chat, you should definitely be uh, answering that question from Timothy. Oh my god, here's... We can use our hunter perk. Whoops. Oh, look at him go. Well, I appreciate you, Polo. Thank you. I didn't crit Rex. I... what? The fucking... Kazador blew up. Okay, now we're on the actual road to Jacob's Town. So... Here we fucking go. The big hoarders along the way for the XP.
Hey, Apollo, thank you for the kind words. You guys are fucking awesome, man. And, uh... If you're just uh, lurking uh, the stream and haven't really jumped into the chat, don't be shy. Come on in. Uh, you don't have to donate or anything for me to talk to you. I just like hanging out. If you haven't subscribed, uh, definitely do that. If you enjoy Fallout content and uh, other Bethesda games, I, I cover a lot of. Uh, or useless fact videos about video games. And uh, we're doing a lot more streams lately, so if you're into that kind of thing. And like the stream, if you're enjoying it. That helps out the channel a lot. Pluto, I can't just let you lurk like that. I can't, I can't do it. Well, thank you for the likes, uh, the live reacts as well. You guys are dope. Dude, that emoji. Excuse me. That emoji that uh, Patty made of uh, fucking Boone, man. So good. And apparently Patty's made like uh, a few more. So, uh, I'm gonna be adding those as well because I'm sure they're just as good. And yeah, we're at about 200 viewers. Thank you guys for uh, jumping in, man. I, I appreciate everybody coming out. Just playing some New Vegas, these, uh, Playthroughs will remain public because YouTube has a new way of like uh, categorizing live streams and videos and stuff, so I've been wanting to get these going. I'm gonna love the power uh, helmet one. Yeah, you're right. I can't fucking wait, man. I cannot fucking wait. For real. Like, I'm, I'm super stoked. And I appreciate you doing that. Uh, like I said, I'll. Uh, shoot you a couple of bucks after payday here for doing that. I get paid, uh, usually by the 21st. I'll, I'll shoot you a little PayPal for that. Since I'll, since I'll be using them in my fucking, you know, YouTube and, uh, Discord. I feel it's only right to pay you for your work, so... Get you a little bit of that. Hey, Gravity, thank you very much for the kind words. And for uh, watching so frequently. I appreciate you. How will Bethesda explain the differences, uh, the difference between Fallout 3, Meyer Lurks, and 4? Uh, I, I think it's like a Grand Theft Auto situation where, like, you uh, just enter, they entered, like, a different, not like a, well, not really like a Grand Theft Auto thing, because the Grand Theft Auto HD universe and 3D universe are two like totally different universes. Um, but I feel like you know things just get a makeover as <laughs> each uh, like generation of gaming technology progresses. So it's like oh, now these things look like this because we you know. Uh, have the technology to to make these things. <laughs> yeah, one of uh, the one of the caves is the room and something. Yeah, we'll be grabbing that when um uh once we get power armor training and shit. And we go get the APA over at the Deathclaw Promontory. Yeah, Manted Unmanted Crime is never good, but it's coming right for us. Had no, uh, had, uh, no other options. Big corners are always worth XP. It's worth it to kill every single buffalo because they're worth like, yeah, they're like 50 XP. 
I mean, sometimes you can get wrecked by them. They'll launch you like a Skyrim giant sometimes, but uh, you should be able to take care of them before that happens. Alright, so, you know what, I would like to show up to this place in the morning. We're in the beautiful Mount Charleston, heading up to the wonderful lodge. Yeah, damn it, Sim, I hate it. You gotta do what you gotta do, though. Love from Ukraine. Hey, love back at you. I hope you're doing well, Yuri. Thank you for uh, coming to the stream and checking out the channel, man. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR... Yeah, that's you're the promontory I'm talking about, Kyle. Fuck yeah. They're not popular uh, here. It has uh, APA armor. I guess that's, yeah, uh, the advanced power armor that uh, the Enclave uses. There's some of that over there. Docks inside the lodge. Such as. Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Towns far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days, I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war didn't end well town was broken hills bunch of super mutants humans and ghouls all living together peacefully well most of the time we were looking for a geck to save the village of Arroyo eventually we did nuked an oil rig in the process we went separate ways after that I went east into the Rockies looking for other mutants like myself don't know what happened to my friend I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. He's talking about Fallout 2. Those are the events of Fallout 2. Uh, so that's another reason why New Vegas is fucking god tears, because it references Fallout 2. <laughs> all right. And this is, that's like one of the smaller references of, to Fallout 2 in this game, by the way. This, this is more Fallout 3 to me than... Fallout 3 is because it like almost directly continues the story of Fallout 2 just in an area just right outside of that area so because it's so close in proximity to where Fallout 2 took place it always feels more like a, a direct sequel to me a lot of bad blood if that makes any sense mutants and humans goes back years some here still got the scars and memories me I don't really have a problem with the NCR set their sights a little too high sometimes but they try Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it, eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Do you think you're close to running out of facts? Uh, no, because running out of facts, it, like... Like, I mean, obviously there's only so much that you can do, you know what I mean? But it's like... Um, there's so much to talk about when it comes to the Fallout games that I, I really don't, but I also, uh, I, I do facts about other games, just YouTube doesn't, uh, 
promote them as much because I guess people don't watch them as much. So it's like uh, Fallout gets more attention. Um, so I have facts for years when it comes to all games, you know what I mean? But uh, when it comes to the Fallout series, I'm not close to running out now, but there is a time when it's like, obviously, you're going to tap it all out, you know? Seen them grow and thank you time. again for so much support, Shady MSM. Uh, I really appreciate you. They've done good for the most part. Oh, and Night Spirit with a five dollar super chat. Facts, facts are infinite. Yeah, that's right, Knight. Uh, Spearhead gets it. Thank you so much, Spearhead. Uh, both of you incredibly generous, and uh, I thank you, Big Dunn. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't the get The stream worse. started Trouble three is, hours ago, like being Sean Hogan. Either. They don't take being exposed too well. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. See you. All right, so Marcus has given us the lowdown. He's in Fallout too. We're at Jacobstown, up here in beautiful Mount Charleston. We got the lodge right here. Unfortunately, and it wasn't, I don't think it was this lodge, but um, one of them like it up here in Mount Charleston in real life burnt down a couple years back. Uh, beautiful area up here. And so it's unfortunate that that happened because Another human. One was enough. It's fucking great. Great stuff, and it's in New Vegas. So you you don't want to see that happen. Hey. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. Once in a while, I ventured down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. All right. 515 caps is not much, Calamity. You better have something fucking good. Medics. Okay, you might have something good. 31 stimmies. Let's go. We'll save Nephi's uh, golf driver for when we kill Mr. House. I'm selling the Rat Slayer too. Because we have that gun. Um, that'll be overkill, so... Let's see. Oh shit, whoops. Um, this. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, you can have that, that. 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 Yep. And we're, we almost broke even here. Get rid of all this stuff to get it out of my inventory. Dog hide, you can have it. Damn it. I don't want to have to give her anything. Let's, uh. Let's. Some kind of ammo that I'm not using, like this. Haha! -ha! Another satisfied customer. Todd kisses Mantis. Yeah, that's what TKS stands for. Loving those emojis out there. <laughs> the Boone one is fucking so good. 
Um. Shit. Okay. Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. Once you have the ghoul mask, you know you can wear up to eight articles of clothing and but six of them being ha distance. No, I did not know that guy. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. I had no idea about that. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells The TKS me. stands for the cons. It's a, like the uh, back in the day when well, you played online games, you would put your like clan tag. I uh, assume this is about something name. important. You're interrupting my research. And uh, I was in a faction called the cons, and we'd play like online games together, like uh, Fallout Online. There was like this uh, Fallout Online mod for uh, the first two Fallout games. Um, there's, I don't know, we did like RuneScape and World of Warcraft and nerdy shit like that. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. Okay. I think this is a perfectly promulent place to stop uh, for the night. We got Rex done. We ran a poll to... Oh, shit. Uh, well, we'll have to do that over again. But we ran a poll to see what uh, DLC first. It looks like uh, Honest Arts is going to be first. And uh, so to not, probably not tomorrow, but like uh, the next time we do a New Vegas stream, uh, we'll be starting by doing a uh, the Honest Arts DLC. So thank you guys so much for coming out. I appreciate you uh, tremendously. Uh, make sure to like the stream if you enjoyed it. It does help out the channel. And subscribe if you enjoy this kind of thing. Uh, you're going to watch the VOD. Nice. Yeah, it'll be public. It should be uh, good to go. Uh, this whole run will uh, be public on the channel. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day and a nice lead into the holidays. Though I should be live before that. Uh, I got another all-day tattoo appointment on the 22nd to continue working on uh, my full sleeve here. But other than that, I've been trying to stream more and I'm making a Fallout Iceberg video, which should be out next. And then, like I said, another very long, like hopefully a few hour long, uh, Fallout New Vegas fact video. So thank you guys so much. I will definitely and hopefully, hopefully catch you on the next one. It has been Mantis.